Hello, my name's Howard Carter. I'm a mosquito expert and I'm here today to talk about DEET. Uh, it's been more specific, uh, the dangers or potential dangers of using this product. DEET has been around for over 50 years now. It was developed in the Second World War as a way of protecting soldiers uh, fighting in tropical uh, conditions. What DEET is, is a neurotoxin. Uh, which was uh, established uh, beyond all reasonable doubt uh, earlier on this year by Vincent Corpel, one of the world's leading scientists. It works in the same way as a toxic nerve gas used in chemical warfare. Uh, DEET has the potential to give um, skin scarring, uh, nausea, vomiting, a whole range of conditions, especially to, to children. If you uh, look at the on the bottle of um, some of these uh, products, uh, it says that they can be used by children from six months uh, or older. That is just simply not the case, not without risking your child's health. A study has found that uh, every uh, thousand applications, one child will have a reaction. That reaction could be uh, very slight, skin irritation, or it could be really serious, uh, like respiratory failure. Uh, children have died from using DEET. Uh, and it's not just death that's a problem. Uh, Elijah Harrison, an eight-year-old male, uh, used DEET twice, and he's still getting uh, seizures today. Uh, 10 years after. It's classified as a pesticide. In fact, it is the only insect repellent to be classified as a pesticide. Uh, DEET is on sale in the UK at 100% um, concentrations. Uh, however, uh, you cannot buy 100% uh, DEET in uh, hardly any other civilised country in the world. Fortunately, mosquitoes have built up resistance to DEET. Uh, certain species like Anopheles albumus uh, have built up total resistance to malaria or cat carrying a mosquito, mosquito um, that uh, DEET has no effect on whatsoever. This resistance is, is spreading. I mean DEET melts plastics. Um, DEET will pass through the uh, epidermal membrane, the skin, it goes into the blood system and it's been proven to alter the DNA uh, in both mammals and humans. Yeah. Vincent Corbell's research uh, has shown that DEET is even more dangerous when used in combinations with certain other substances, such as uh, in insecticides. Uh, that has a synergistic reaction, uh, which effectively means that if uh, you use um, DEET with, say, uh, an insecticide, then it multiplies the actual de de danger. So the very act of, uh, of just simply you eating a, an apple uh, which has been sprayed with uh, an insecticide and then you know I've, I've got DEET on my hands at the same time that would cause, that could cause serious problems. In fact they also, there's somebody has hypothesized, a scientist, that this is what is in part responsible for Gulf War Syndrome. Historically, you know, the trade-off has been, well, you know, it stops you getting malaria, stops you getting bitten from uh, mosquitoes, which potentially carry uh, diseases that, that, can, that can kill you. Uh, but now this is not the case. There are many other stronger repellents, alternative uh, repellents on, on the market uh, today that uh, are stronger and, you know, much, much safer.